Um, I'm really excited about this project. Uh, Resource Recovery started a, a new agricultural uh, ag plastic recycling pro program out at Sunfield. And with us today is uh, Morgan Felposh, the Director of Resource Recovery in Eaton County. She's going to tell us a little bit about the program. Hi. <laughs> So this program, like Sue said, it's really new. It's kind of first in the state type thing. Um, it's a project that came about through the Michigan Recycling Coalition, which is um, a coalition of different um, recycling entities that represents the industry pretty well. And they got a, applied for a grant through the, Eagle, or the Environment and Great Lakes and Energy Department through the state, which was a market development grant for this um, agricultural film plastic. So just kind of a brief introduction, you know, we use quite a bit of this material and it, we're, there's not any existing recycling programs for it in the area. Um, and our program aims to, you know, reduce this plastic waste, the pretty obvious stuff, prevent and reduce harmful disposal method, methods such as burning, um, and then recover resources. So you can go to the next slide. So essentially there's there's five steps to participate in this program uh, just to make it work with our site. So the first step is to read and understand our preparation instructions which are on our website and are available on um, paper at our exhibit table today. Essentially it's, it's a material guide that talks about what we take, how to prepare it, and a little bit more about what to do with it. Um, and then the second step is to fill out an appointment inquiry form that again is on our website or it can be done by phone. It uh, basically just tells us, you know, gives us a rough idea of what you want to bring and when you want to bring it. Uh, the next step is to kind of wait for us to contact you and schedule an actual appointment. This um, lets us, you know, coordinate the site staff, make sure we have uh, enough time to do it, those kind of things. And then finally, you know, you show up to recycle your material at the, the time you made the appointment. Basically, our site staff will help unload it from your, your vehicle, trailer, whatever you wanted to bring into Gaylord boxes. And then those Gaylord boxes are weighed. And that weight um, is recorded on a form, which you sign, and then you're on your way. So the final step is this um, is an invoicing step because this program is new. We had to figure out a way to cover the the labor costs associated with it for unloading, for material usage at the site. Costs about eight cents a pound, and again, that you can see it right at site when it gets weighed. Um, and then those invoices are just done monthly, and they're payable by check. Um, so those are kind of the five basic steps. I'm going to go into the, you know, what you need to do, the materials, and those kind of things here. So every material is a little bit different, um, particularly for this program, but there are three kind of just major steps that apply to all. The first is to shake out any large rocks, clumps of soil sticks, anything that's not the plastic basically. And that helps, it helps us because it makes sure the material is actually good enough to meet our vendors' requirements. And then it helps you because it, you're not paying for material that isn't recyclable to be recycled. Um, then the next step is to roll it into manageable size bundles. We talk about the size about a pillow, two to three feet. Um, this also helps us make sure we can get it into our baler when we uh, go to lift it because we've had people bring really long sheets that are just rolled into huge things and you end up just pulling it forever out of people's truck and it's a huge time consume, consuming thing for everybody involved. So if you roll it into those sized pieces, we can, we can manage it and get you on your way as fast as possible. And then the third thing is to just store it, um, you know, somewhere where it's not going to get soaked, essentially, um, or, you know, hugely wet. Because, again, you pay for the per pound rate, so if it's soaked, it's going to be a lot heavier. And it makes sure that there's not going to be any mold or anything growing in there. Um, so I'm going to talk about the accepted materials next. Um, but essentially, these are just categories, so if you have any questions about, you know, the specifics of any any kind of material, there's two different options. Uh, you can ask ask us directly, or you can check and see if it's, um, check with your manufacturer, see if it's listed as polyethylene. And if it is, and it fits in one of these categories, essentially we take it. But we're happy to answer your questions on that, because I know it can be really confusing. Uh, so essentially we take uh, six different types of things so far. We're hoping to expand this list, but this is where we're at right now. So we take bale wrap, um, grain and silage bags, bunker cover, and drip tape. 
pretty self-explanatory stuff, but again, on that material uh, guide, there's very specific descriptions of each to help you kind of guide through it. Then the other ones here are palette and stretch wrap, bin liners, palette covers, and greenhouse film. Um, I don't really care for that picture of the greenhouse film on that one, but there's a bunch more pictures on that material guide and then on our website. So the actual location, it is in Sunfield. The address is on there. Um, it's a little bit challenging to find for some reason. When you Google it, it takes you across the street. But So there's an actual map of where it's at. And then that is a picture of the building. And again, the process is just you, once you make the appointment, you show up for your appointment. Our staff helps you unload it into Gaylord boxes. And then the Gaylord boxes are weighed on our industrial scales. And you review a material form that says you agree with the weight that we came up with. And then we go through the uh, invoicing process. Um, so again, it's about eight cents a pound. Um, that just covers the, the labor we have on site to help unload it, to help bale it, process it, ship it, all that kind of stuff. And then to, the excess usage of that equipment that does those things. Um, so this, again, the fees collected through an invoicing system that we do monthly and it is payable by check. And any questions about that are, are pretty Expl they're pretty well explained on our website, but again, we're available to answer any of those. Um, so kind of the big question, why are we doing this? Why do we want to recycle this material? So the first reason is because it saves resources. Uh, new materials take a lot more uh, energy, water, gas, oil, all those kind of things to produce. And when you recycle them, um, it, it takes a lot less of that. So the second one is you reduce the landfill or the space and or you increase the space in landfills because you're not putting that big hefty material in there because it takes up a lot of space. Just as I talked about rolling it in bundles, those bundles add up. And because we use so much, we uh, end up using a lot of space. So finally, um, we can produce new materials out of this plastic that we recycle. There's a few examples up there of what they are planning on turning this into and have turned this into in other states. Uh, they can turn them back into agricultural films, um, trash bags, roofing, and flooring material even. That right there is a picture of our bale at the site right now and just kind of another example of all the materials. Those are some of the ones that we have um, at our table today. So. If you have questions about the Sunfield program or are interested in bringing it, setting up an appointment, anything like that, um, there is our contact information, our website, our phone number. And then if you have questions about the program itself or the grant, um, that the good person to contact is listed up there. Um, that's the Michigan Recycling Coalition. And then we do have a survey, and I know there's a lot of barriers to participating in this program, so that helps us work on those if anybody is interested in taking it. It's also available at our exhibit table. So I'm happy to answer questions if anybody has any. I'm one of those guys that rat bales. We make big marshmallows. Yes. So far this year we wrapped 1,400 bales. We've been through about three pallets of the film that we get from the gym. Farm equipment to come forward. Producers that I took the bales from just this afternoon, when they cut the bales open, they got their own small square baler. They feed that into and done away with the pickup so it doesn't wrap around that thing. Um, they use those small square bales as erosion protection against ditch banks and whatnot. Um, they are very happy doing it that way, not to take away from the whole idea of recycling. But are you, are you able to actually recycle this material? I mean, does it show back up in the agriculture community? Is, um, it goes back into those different uh, things that I mentioned before, like roofing. It's not necessarily going back into the agricultural materials. Um, it could. It's up to the, the vendor and the buyers at that point. Our vendor is um, out of state. It is um, Revolution Plastics. So um, in the order, the traditional order of reduce, reuse, and recycle, obviously the, the reuse aspect is, is higher on the list of better uses, so I'm glad to hear that they can are able to do it and use it in that way. Actually, they're Amish. Okay. And I was just really impressed to think that small baler would, would chew that, choke it up, you might say, and it cuts it off just as clean as it would a, uh, a flake of hay, and poops up the back end, and boy, are those bales heavy. Uh, I, can, I don't know if there's any producers in here sitting with us that you know, crazy to have cattle, but uh, you guys don't 
You guys got rid of your rack for two, didn't you? Yeah, we got, no, we got rid of all the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Well, thank you. Thanks, Morgan. Okay, thank you, Morgan. And uh, she's got some great information up there. Grab it if you know somebody or think of something. Check it out. Dinner is ready. Uh, we're going to, uh, it's in the kitchen. Help yourself. Um, we're going to get a table set up here and bring our presenters back up. So as we're eating, if you have any questions, now's the time. Okay? Thanks. <laughs>